Welcome to Essa Overland. It takes a monumental team effort to develop a winning car. It requires dedication, expertise, and above all, a passion for what you're doing. Finishing off now 1.1 billion miles of testing. It's a massive team effort. We couldn't do this by ourselves. I mean, we brought all the partners together and uh, specialists. We have this collaboration, obviously, if we can cross-pollinate each other with our high-tech engineering, it's great. So, should we dial it up a little bit? This is unbelievable. Yes. You know, I'm driving like on a rally. Something like this you can only create if you have good partners and good teams and people that really care. You need to be passionate about it. Welcome to the final mile. Thank you very much. Looking forward to it. The Grenadier is coming to the end of its 1.1 million miles of testing, and we're here to put it through its paces in some of the most amazing but um, pretty uncompromising terrain. In Formula One, we work with a team of 2,000 people, and it's not one single individual who makes that difference. It's the 2,000 people coming together, working together to make that end product even better. We have a great kind of pressure in this and that we've got something amazing that customers are really waiting for. We brought you out here into the heat, into the middle of the desert. I think it's time to throw you the keys and we'll see what you think later. Let's go for it. Definitely feels a bit different to my Formula One car, that is for sure. <laughs> Massive bumps here, gliding over it. Awesome. It feels good, yeah. Yeah, it has power. Yeah. I think I think that guy, this guy you can actually drive over a thousand kilometers and you cannot get tired. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you've done this before, I can see, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Should we hop into the next car? Yeah, this is one of the most scenic, beautiful roads in, in, in Africa. Yeah, but really soft and with uh, good suspension, compatibility actually for, for, for the whole driving. The steering is amazing. It's really a good car. Well, I just grew up in New Zealand playing rugby and it's something we've always been uh, pretty good at on a world stage and pride ourselves in... Pretty good at. I think yeah, you're well, there, you might be under calling it there. <laughs> How do you feel about taking it to the next level? Apprehensive. <laughs> <laughs> just never an off-roader. Um, this is changing my mind rapidly though because it's so awesome to, to drive, so certainly no expert, Justin, but... No, uh, no, no. You're, you're, a, you're, a, you're a natural talent at it, <laughs> mate. Quite easily be on the road at the moment in terms of the, the, the comfort, the ease of the drive. Just the vehicle taking care of uh, anything that's thrown out at it. 
how easy was that? Too easy. Not because of my drive. No. <laughs> I'm not trying to claim credit for that. Love it here, Snowdonia, my favourite place in the world. Absolutely, yeah. no doubt about it. You know, here being able to to drive the Grenadier as part of its 1.1 million mile voyage and to its last kind of mile is yeah. Um, so she's had a good run. That has got your name all over it. You're the <laughs> You're the expert in the water, Ben. Let's put it through its paces through there. Focus. <laughs> Three, four. God, it handles that well, doesn't it? Yeah. You can push this car as hard as you push them boats. Yeah. And then well, the, probably the best test drive I'll ever have. Yeah. Hopefully we don't have too many crashes. The end of the road here, Ben. Very. Well done. Overcoming the challenges is what makes the end goal so much more rewarding when you finally achieve it. You must test the boundaries and push the limits of what you previously thought possible to achieve true greatness. Finishing off now 1.1 million miles of testing. Something like this you can only create if you have good partners, good teams and people. Development that's gone into the car and the manufacturing process and so on. I mean, with the Grenadiers, with the cycling team, it's that same attention to detail. In Formula One, we work with a team of 2,000 people going through the paces, going through the testing, analyzing the data to make that end product even better. The vehicle's doing all, <laughs> all the work for me in any sport, in any industry. Um, the passion drives things, and then always trying to trying to find ways to be better. In Formula One, we built two prototypes. So how far do you go? I mean, you can constantly improve the vehicle, I guess. I mean, look, we, we're having to push the limits because we want to build the best 4x4 in terms of all terrains. All terrain. Sightseeing, if you want to go to Tatama, if you want to go to the, the worst terrain ever, uh, you can you can still move. You know, we're in the business of pushing boundaries, aren't we, really? You don't like yourself. Believe in the impossible, achieve the impossible. When we start handing over vehicles to customers, that's going to give us the biggest uh, sense of reward of all. <laughs> oh, massive bumps here, gliding over it. It's certainly putting it at the limit when you drive it, mate. <laughs> How do you feel about taking it to the next level? This is unbelievable. Yes. You know, I'm driving like on a rally. I'm sure if we've done 1.1 million miles, you won't mind me taking it out for a few more then. No, you far away. Get it there.